Hello and welcome to the Albertly Public Library's April Adult Take and Make Craft Kit Tutorial. So in um, your craft kit, you're going to get supplies that you need to make your own bird feeder. So perfect time to make one and put one out for the birds. So in the kit, you will get um, your instruction sheet. You're going to have a bottle of glue, a piece of string, um, popsicle sticks, and uh, a couple of tongue depressors and bird seed to get you started. So when you are all finished, um, your bird feeder is going to look like the one in the picture on your instruction sheet. So you're gonna build it up with popsicle sticks and a base, and then you're gonna have um, some tongue depressors there, as well as um, the string to hang it. All right, so the first step to making a bird feeder is to lay about 10 to 12 popsicle sticks down in a straight line. Um, this will form your base. And once you have that, you're gonna put two popsicle sticks um, laying the opposite direction, and you're gonna glue those down. So I've got one, one glued down here, so I'm just gonna take my glue and if you're using 10 popsicle sticks, just keep in mind that you don't need to use the glue all the way to the edge of the popsicle stick because there is a little bit of overhang. So I'm gonna go ahead and hold this down. Um, about a minute or two is good to hold down the popsicle sticks to make sure the glue sticks. Um, and that way your popsicle sticks don't go all over the place. And so for this step, once you get your base done, you're gonna to wanna to wait a little bit for the base to dry to make sure that it is very, it is solid. So um, you might wanna do the base and then wait an hour or two, or if you wanna come back to it another day, that's fine. All right, so, and once you have your base, um, you may have a problem with some of the popsicle sticks sticking. Um, it's going to look something like this. All right, so when your base is dry, you're ready to move on to the next step. Um, so what you're going to do is, I've got my base here. Um, the flat side should be up. And you're going to um, glue two more popsicle sticks the exact same direction as the other two just to strengthen the base and if you want to speed it up a little bit you can do you can glue them two at a time and hold them in place and so what this is doing is going to strengthen the base so that the popsicle sticks on the base are nice and firm and don't um, wiggle so you're, again, you're going to hold this down for about a minute or two. And then once those popsicle sticks are on the base, you're going to continue um, to alternate popsicle sticks around the base. So what it's going to do is you'll see this. And so my next popsicle sticks are going to go on the bottom and the top, and then I'll follow it by ones um, going the other direction. So you're gonna wanna do this one time. So you'll lay four popsicle sticks and then you're gonna put the tongue depressor in place so the birds have a place to sit. So I have one layer of my bird feeder done. So I laid four popsicle sticks, two in one direction, and then I alternated. Um, when you start alternating your popsicle sticks, just keep in mind that instead of having many um, glue points, you're only gonna have um, two points per popsicle stick, so you may want to hold to hold down your popsicle sticks a little longer um, just to make sure that the glue does stick. And so at this point, you're going to take your tongue depressors. Now you have two tongue depressors. Um, you may only want to use one or you may want to use both. It's totally up to you. I'm just going to use one. And so what I'm going to do is glue my tongue depressor down to the popsicle sticks. And the best way to do this to ensure that it sticks is that you're gonna glue 
the very edge of it onto the, your popsicle stick that is um, sticking up and then you'll also glue the other touch point and you can see the tongue depressor is sticking out so when it's a bird feeder the bird will be able to sit there. So I'm going to go ahead and glue that tongue depressor down. The very edge here. And if you want to put two tongue depressors, one on each side, you just want to, instead of putting the tongue depressor in the middle, just put it closer to um, the edges of your bird feeder. Just be careful not to get too close to the edge or else it won't serve a purpose. And so once you have your tongue depressor in place, you're going to continue with the remainder of your popsicle sticks alternating. So just like we did with the first, you'll lay two popsicle sticks the first direction and then you'll continue up the side. Um, and you'll continue to do that until your popsicle sticks are done. Now the tongue depressor is pretty thin, so you should not have a problem um, with the next layer of popsicle sticks. Um, they should fit right in the middle. And if you are worried about having your tongue depressor sticking right in the middle of your bird feeder, you can move it out to the side and just have one touch point. Um, it's just not as strong. So continue alternating um, your bird feeders, your, pop, your popsicle sticks around the bird feeder until you have run out of popsicle sticks. All right, so once you have finished with all of your popsicle sticks, you'll have a bird feeder that looks something like this. So you have string, and this is so that you can tie your bird feeder um, to the branch of a tree if you want, or to a hook. So um, there's many ways you can tie the string on. I like to just kind of slip it between two of the popsicle sticks, tie a double knot, and if you want to reinforce the string so it doesn't kind of slip around the popsicle stick, just put a dab of glue on it. And then I'm going to do it on the opposite side diagonal to where I just put it. Um, how you attach the string might depend on where you want to hang your bird feeder, so keep that in mind. You might um, want to attach it a little differently or not use the entire string if you're gonna if you don't want it to hang as high. So and then the last step, of course, before you put it outside, is to just place your bird seed in it. I recommend putting, um, hanging your bird feeder if it's not going to be too high and then putting the bird seed in it. Um, otherwise, the bird seed can kind of get all over the place in your house. And especially when you're hanging it, there's a some of the bird seed is pretty small and so it could slip out and create a mess. So I would recommend putting the bird seed in your bird feeder when it is already outside but as you can see once you are done you have a nice hanging bird feeder already set with bird seed for you to put outside the spring so i hope you enjoy the april take and make adult craft kit brought to you by the Albertly public library to make your own bird feeder I hope that you find a spot to put it outside and that you can see some birds this spring and summer eating out of it. We will be back in May for another adult take and make craft kit with a different craft. And um, our craft kits are available to request starting on the first Monday of the month. So if you want to um, want to request one in May, just keep an eye out on that first Monday. Um, but we always will post an announcement on our Facebook and have it up on our website so you can check those sources as well or give us a call.